And bonjour, the dueling bosses. Bonjour to you. <laughs> and a big, 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 big congrats on Emily in Paris season three. It's still as funny and charming and witty as, as ever, and I enjoyed it. Oh, well, thank oh, you. Good. Thank, thank you. you. We're really happy. Oh, Congrats. you're welcome to begin with you, Miss Philippine. Who, I love your name, by the way, as always. Tell our viewers how your character arc evolved this season. Well, the character uh, comes from a place where she decided to do a little, her little French Revolution at the end of season two, and, uh, and it's not going to be as easy as she thought, obviously. Well, I don't think she thought it was easy, but, you no know. No revolutions I, are. No, never. But um, it's very complicated. But no, she's, uh, and then she, everything becomes difficult, so she's more vulnerable. She's, she, she, I mean, her vulnerability shows. That's what I'd say. I mean, she, it was always there, but now it shows in this season, in this season really. And, um, and yeah, everything becomes very complicated. Her love life, her, her work. I mean, this one is stealing all her clients at the beginning. I mean, I can't spoil too much. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Miss Kate? Pretty in pink oh, and you. creating all the drama as the very pregnant Madeline. How did your character arc evolve this season? Well, she's you know we come back where she we we where we left off. She's now more pregnant than ever. I mean, the belly got bigger. <laughs> And um, and her problems got bigger too. She's got uh, all this conflict with uh, with this one, with the new company, and dueling. Like she keeps showing up, and there's uh, you know Philippines character Sylvie at the meetings, and she's like, and then she it's just all these little twists and turns. Then she finds out Emily's playing her, two timing her. So, and then of course she goes into labor. So there's a lot, has a baby. We don't ever see the baby. Baby's in boarding school already. We don't know. Um, <laughs> no, but not just, before she's nursing. We see him once. <laughs> we see him once, Jack. Hey, Jack. And you know Jack. <laughs> yes. Um, so we meet Jack once <laughs> and his nanny, his stern nanny. But there's a lot going on. It's really, it's very fun. These first three episodes are a lot of fun. That's right. Now, Miss Philippine, I spoke with you last year for season two. I remember. Why do you think people love the series that now we're on season three? Why they love the series? Yeah. Because it's joyful. Because okay. it's joyful. Because it's it's joyful. It's full of sparkles. It's, you know, it's like a chocolate box with a lot of, you know, different flavors in inside the chocolate. You know, it's like, it, there's full of surprises. The writing is excellent. The writing is great. And it's magical, nope. too. It's joyful and magical, yeah. and it's like a great fantasy, you know? Right. And you're right. And this season, I think it's all about choices. Not just for Emily, but for every character. For everyone, think, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yes, totally. Well, totally. Hard and difficult choices. Now, Miss Kate... The third season of Emily in Paris premieres on December 21st. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching the series? Oh, I think that I, I, what I hope, what I really believe they're going to get is they're going to be so satisfied and jonesing for season four and more, more, more. Because it's really the season I think that is the biggest. It's sort of almost like if one and two had a baby, that it's season three. Yeah. Do you know? It's really <laughs> complex. Everybody's got their own storylines. Like you said, everyone's got all these conflicts and choices and and also this the show, the the, the fashion and the is bigger and better than ever. And then also they go all over France. It's really exciting this year. So Right, and with a nail-biting ending. I, I mean, wait. I oh haven't seen it, but I've heard. <laughs> I know, I know, I How know. How many cliffhangers can you have? I mean, the last, but the last one, of the, see, the last is like, what? It's, I mean, I can't wait to watch. Don't spoil it for me. I know, because no. I already know all these other things <laughs> that I've got to pretend I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, big congrats on Emily in Paris again. And I want to wish you guys Joyeux Noel. Joyeux uh, Noel to Joyeux you, Noel Manny. Joyeux Noel to you, Manny. Goodbye. Thank you. Merci and au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>